Let's talk about something less confrontational, like Obamacare. Want to know what's in Obamacare? We have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it. Right. You know, she was looking straight ahead, not at the prompter. How quickly she forgets. In a letter to Paul, uh, to Paul Ryan, she types this out. The American people and members have a right to know the full impact of the legislation before any voting committee or by the House. It's already through two committees. But what do the Democrats really want? Here to debate it, President of Americans United for Change, Brad Woodhouse, playing the role of a Democrat, and his brother, Executive Director of the North Carolina GOP, uh, and that is Dallas Woodhouse. He's not a Democrat. Let's start. He certainly uh, isn't. <laughs> no. uh, uh, Dallas, where do you stand on this? Are you, I mean, are you in the Ryan camp, the Pelosi camp, or, I don't know, the Cotton uh. camp? Uh, I am certainly not in the Pelosi camp. I don't even want to uh, know where that zip code is. Uh, I am encouraged by what Paul Ryan and the Republicans are doing. Uh, I think that there are valid criticisms with any bill. Uh, they're going to make this better. Uh, we inherited a really bad problem. The health care system has been made worse by Obamacare. Uh, and what we have to do is we have to make it better for an overwhelming vast majority of people, and that's what we're going right. to do. And we're doing it in the light of day. It's going to take some time, uh, but we're going to get <laughs> it right. I am confident about that. And we are seeing a lot about it, Brad, right? I mean, we're reading a lot about it, and for Nancy Pelosi to ask for this, that's audacity. Well, come on, look, what she said in that statement was that she wanted to see a CBO score, that she wanted to see what the Congressional Budget Office said. That's one thing y'all fail to recognize is then when this was debated in 2009 and 2010, uh, the Democrats waited for the uh, CBO uh, to score this bill. And plenty of times from the time that President Obama was in office until the time that he left, including Sean Spicer, Republicans praised the CBO uh, when they criticized uh, any pro program of Barack Obama's. Now, they're preemptively criticizing the CBO because they know their right. bill is a disaster for millions of American people who are going to lose coverage. Paul Bra Ryan, Bra all do you, say yes. do you say Obamacare is a disaster, though? If you're, gonna, if you're not going to like it. Absolutely not. Let me tell you something about Obamacare. Republicans lie about Obamacare, including my brother, every single day. And we've heard these lies about programs. Wow. That we've Come heard on, these Brad, you have well, the real life stories. Well, Nobody thinks Obamacare is working. They look, spent seventy seven million dollars to sell us on this. Look, let me tell you something about Obamacare. Let me tell you something about Obamacare. Let me tell you something about Obamacare. Since you asked, Obamacare has covered more people than any other government program to help with uh, insurance, except Medicare and Medicaid. It has reduced right. costs for millions of people. It has brought millions right. of people. I would just like to meet insurance. a handful of them, Dallas. And I got to tell you, Brad, Brad just doesn't want to admit that this program has failed, and, and, and it's doing things that we really don't need to be doing. It's putting able-bodied working men on Medicaid, and I got to tell you something, the CBO, uh, the scores right. and everything were so irrelevant because they passed a bill, and Obama never let the bill work as passed. They took... Uh, all the sticks out of it, and 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 and, and didn't look. You uh, want to follow Dallas, the bill wanna, as written? It, it, it was a useless look, this is, uh, exercise. Hey, Brian, uh, Obamacare never was implemented. Right. Brian, how this it was, is how a it was written. Obama let, just let me changed say it. Okay, this is a constitutionally on a regular basis. This is a classic Republican tactic. Look, all the viewers need to know is Republicans hate government Did Obama programs. not constantly Can, change I it? I want to finish, Dallas. Did he Republicans constantly change hate, it? Yes or no? Republicans, Republicans he, hate government programs, right. so they always say they're in crisis. In 2005, but, George Bush said Social Security is in crisis. It's still here. In 2010, uh, Paul Ryan said Medicare was in crisis. It's still here. You're saying Obamacare is in crisis. It's a lie. You're doing it because you it's, want to undermine a government a program. Is, we, we, and you is Humana and Aetna lying? You want to, look, this, this is a Republican effort to transfer That's a good money. Point. You've got to be what about all the health point? This is a Republican that are effort. the market. This is a Republican effort to transfer money that's going to cover people now right. to provide tax breaks for uh, rich people. And my, la that's my last what question to you is do. to Dallas, is to you. Dallas, wouldn't this have been better if the Republicans at least made an attempt to deal in Democrats? Or, I mean, or do, are you seeing something I'm not? I, I think uh, Republicans have welcomed Democrats to the table, but they are uh, they like hid the bill behind in the Rocky 1970s. Key, 
fighting they World the War II still, hiding in the caves. They don't want to admit there's any problem. Oh. It's perfect. Uh, the high premiums aren't a problem. Right. The uh, expansion of Medicaid states can't afford uh, is not a problem. Right. Nothing's a problem to right, them. Premium increases are really in choice. Right. But I think it's problems, time. we got to go. There's a place premium for them to be Premium increases in effect 3%. 3%. Sorry, I had to do that. But it was very good debate.